Jump de jump jump jump. Welcome to opening day of the Mega Mall, the largest fully enclosed, completely carpeted, temperature controlled guarded complex on the planet. This is gonna be so cool, Sabrina. Word is a video arcade here is the only one in the world to have Mystic Dragon Ninja Space Bats. And the music store is supposed to be bigger than the entire state of Utah. Oh, wow! We're on our way to shopping heaven, I can't wait! Now, I want us to stick to the plan. If you kids get lost... Kids? And Zelda, I'm like two days away from being 13. Okay, okay, so I'm 11 and a half months and two days away. Ow. 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 What happened? We're wasting valuable shopping minutes here. <laughs> Sabrina. Cool move. Hey, Sabrina, what just happened? Later, you two. Time for some power shopping. Zelda really needs to put a little pizzazz into that old wardrobe, if you know what I mean. Sabrina, back there at the turnstile, what happened? Funny thing about that. Um, look, Harvey, the video arcade. And a big pink balloon for a pretty little girl. I'm practically a teenager, and I'm kind of tired of being treated like a little kid. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm 44, and I'm really tired of dressing up like an idiot and making a fool of myself in public, okay? So just take the darn balloon, will you, kid? Sabrina, it's true, they've got it! <laughs> Mystic Dragon Ninja Space Bats! All right, the first ever playing of Mystic Dragon Ninja Space Bats! <laughs> Sorry, kid. Lot of intense thrills here. I thought you were with an adult. You gotta have one with you to play this game. Place adult here. No adult, no game. Next! Yeehaw! This is so not fair. Name like two things adults have going for them that we don't. Cars and cash and no curfew. Well, I guess that's actually three things. But on the downside, they have really lame music. Hey, want to check out the Monster Music Store? Good one. Maybe they have the new Funkhouse Ferret CD. <laughs> Harvey, look! Cool! Excuse me, where can I find the new Funkhouse Ferret CD? Funk house ferrets? Uh, oh. The new Funk House Ferret CD? Can't write to say, but let me tell you a little story. It's not about a man named Brady, is it? Because I think I've heard that one. Gotcha! Sabrina, look! The disco palindromes. I love their stuff. Killer! I could dance backwards and forwards to this all day long. Bummer. Guess you didn't see the can't buy with that parental consent sticker. But Next. I do not believe this. I'm too young to buy a stupid CD on my own? Like, how insulting is that? It's pretty dumb. But hey, cheer up. Look what's playing. Wow, I know what you screamed last summer, too. That's supposed to be, like, the best movie ever. I know what you screamed last summer? I know what you screamed last summer? Age? 12, but what does that have to do with... It's PG-13. 
You gotta be at least 13 or have an adult with you. Pick another movie. PG-13? More summer screaming. Scream till your head hurts. Can't stop screaming. Adventures of Wombat Wally? It's Wombat Wally or nothing, kid. That rips it! I am so tired of being a kid. If I was an adult, I'd be free. I could do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. Welcome to the wonderful world of adults, where whatever you want is exactly what you get. I want wild clothes, the kind that would make Uncle Quigley and Aunt Zelda crazy. A lot of them. You got it. And an incredibly cool apartment. Of course. And a really hot car. It's yours. Now I want mountains of money and tons of great CDs. You're an adult. There's nothing you can't have. Yes, yes, yes! Uh, Sabrina, we need to give you to just forget it. My cousin Jerome saw I know what you screamed, and he said he threw up like seven times. Anyway, I don't mind seeing Wombat Wally. I can catch I know what you screamed another time. Go to a dopey kid movie like Wombat Wally? Thanks anyway, Harvey. You've been 13 for a week. You have the right to enjoy the perks of maturity. I'll just wait for you over here, on this bench, like some little kid loser. Get a clue. You're like one of my best friends. I'm not gonna leave you sitting out here on some dumb bench. We're hitting the world's largest Mighty Slab Pizza Palace. With every 10 toppings or more, you get extra free cheese. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Hilda's waiting for us in the car. It's time to leave. Leave? But Harvey and I still have about a zillion things we want to do here. Sorry, Sabrina, but I'm the one who's driving, and now is when I need to leave. Now, when you're old enough to be the one driving, then you can decide when it's time to leave. There is nothing about being a kid that's working for me. Being a kid is the worst. I never get to do what I want. I'm as smart as any adult. It's not fair. Lower the volume, little Mary Sunshine. I'm trying to concentrate here. 3D, what a rush. If only I was an adult. Boy, would I show them how it's done. I can't stand it. Grown-ups get all the perks and I get all the rules. And if only I could get a little piece of quiet around here, perhaps I could finally get off the poop deck level of this game. Excuse me, Salem. I forgot that you were one of them. You're a warlock. You're ancient. Probably too old and creaky to even remember what it's like to be young and want to have fun. Ancient? Creaky? Man, if only I was an adult. If only I was the one running my own life. If only I... Tired of being a kid, huh? Doesn't have the brains to know when she has it made. You want to be an adult so bad? Fine, I can arrange that. Hmm, let's see, it's in here somewhere. Special one-time only offer. A spell guaranteed to fast forward you into the world of adulthood. And get your grousing little half-witch of a self out of my fur for a while. Take this watch and you'll be grown, out in the world and on your own. If back home you want to run, just set the hands at two and one. But after the hours have passed 24, the chance to return will be no more. This is it! My ticket out of here, aloha to being a kid, Salem, thank you, thank you! You get the deal, right? Stay more than 24 hours and it's permanent. No refunds, no returns. Fine, whatever, I don't care. I just want to be a grown-up now. I'm large and about to be in charge. And where in the world of adults would Miss Maturity like to go? Anywhere but here. All right. adult is going to be the absolute best. Sabrina and Harvey Kingle? How perfect is this? I'm grown up, which means I can do what I want all the time. Plus, I'm married to Harvey, and I live in this super cool place. <laughs> yeah, like I'm ever gonna wanna go back. Okay, time to check out how amazing my apartment is. This is way less amazing than I thought it was going to be. Uh. Oh. Hi, honey. It's 6.45 and I'm home. 
something wrong, dear? Harvey, does our place seem a little... small? Yep, but it's all we can afford on my salary as a door-to-door -door placemat salesman. I don't know what it is with me and jobs. Just can't seem to concentrate. I feel mixed up. Like, one minute I was a kid in the mall, next thing I knew I was all grown up. Harvey, look! I know what you screamed last summer, part 12. Now I can see it, I'm an adult. This is the kind of stuff I've been waiting for, let's go. But Sabrina, what about the kids? Kids? There's no way we can take them to a PG-13 movie. Besides, I think they're hungry. Maybe you ought to whip up a little dinner, honey. Uh-oh. I'm just a kid who looks like a grown-up. I don't know how to cook. But that doesn't mean I can't zap up a little something. Oh, no. Rule of witchcraft number 482, no spells within spells. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we go out to eat? Yeah, I'm good. And guess what? Now we're going to the arcade. Hooray! What was I worried about? I've got this adult thing down cold. Don't you just hate it? When you're a kid, you can eat stuff like pizza as much as you want. Now it just goes straight into your hips. Oh. I'm gonna play Mystic Dragon Ninja Space Bass. Ooh, it's good to be old. Hey, uh, lady, aren't you too old to be playing this? It's kind of a teen game, you know, uh, for kids. <laughs> and speaking of kids, honey, ours are getting a little cranky. Me too. adult thing has some really yucky parts to it. So, how's it going? Enjoying ourselves, are we? Having a blast. All I need is a little money. Oof. Well, you can always get a job. That's a grown-up thing to do. A job? Great idea. They'll give me money, and then everything will be perfect. I'll be rich and be able to do anything I want. Welcome to Stone, 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 and Grindstone. I'm Gem Stone, your boss. Tell me you're kidding. Look at this face. I never kid. Kidding leads to joking, which could lead to laughing, which probably leads to wrinkles. Your workday begins precisely now. And boy, do I need to use the restroom. Um, hello, Jem? Uh, like, 
Where's the ladies' room? To locate that facility, you will need a facility locator map. To acquire the map, you need a restroom requisition form W1313. Huh? Okay, so how do I get that? Sheesh, Spellman, how old are you? Twelve? You're acting like you've never been a cog in the wheels of a hopelessly bloated corporate structure before. To find the ladies' room, all you have to do is get a map from the Office of Restroom Resources, which happens to be located right next to the ladies' room. It's a system I designed myself. Gee, how come that doesn't come as a surprise? Well, if it's a surprise you want, here's your paycheck. I'm an adult with money. It's gonna get good now. I can buy cool clothes and great CDs and like go to every killer theme park in the entire world if I want to. All yours. <gasps> yeah, except for a few deductions. Taxes, rent payment, taxes, insurance payment, money for food, car payment, taxes on taxes, braces for kids, and a few more taxes. But, but, I was gonna get CDs and go to Hurl World. This is definitely no fun. When I was a kid, things were way cooler. I wish I could just go home. What, and give up the glamorous, freewheeling life of an adult? But hey, I hope you get what you want before time runs out. <coughs> before time runs out? Time! I can go home! The watch! I can use it to break the spell! What did I do with the watch? It's six. I got here yesterday at 6.45. I've got to find that watch. I've only got 45 minutes left. I've got to find that watch. What did I do with it? Harvey, have you seen? You know, I never get tired of looking at this old album. See, it's pictures of the great times we all had growing up. Our junior high class trip, your 16th birthday party, prom night, our high school graduation. I'm not in any of these. I wasn't there for any of it. I missed out on all the really great stuff about being a kid. Why was I in such a hurry to grow up? Harvey, I've made like such a big mistake. Life was way better when I was a kid. I've got to fix everything before it's too late. I've got to find my watch. The watch? Is it kind of an old fashioned like pocket watch thing? You've seen it? Yeah, I found it in the trash. I gave it to the kids to play with.
wish to run to set the hands at two and one. Look. Yeah, well, back at ya. Um, wanna maybe go to a movie or something? Great idea. And I know just what I wanna see. Wombat Wally. Then I wanna eat a really huge pizza, and then I wanna come straight home so I can rearrange all my stuffed animals. Wombat Wally? Stuffed animals? What's going on? I'm just enjoying being a kid. dum de dum 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 Please go home now. Please? Home? Seriously, Sabrina. Shopping at the Netherworld Mall is an important rite of passage for a young witch. Ugh! But I have plans with Harvey. Instead, I get dragged here with my aunties. And besides, this place gives me the creeps. Creeps? What's creepy about it? Exposure to the Netherworld way of life is necessary for a young witch. All part of the training. And as your guardians, we're here to make sure you experience it all. Like it or not, you gotta listen to us, Sabrina. <sighs> Great. So much for being in control of my own life. I always have to do what everyone else wants. Grandma, 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 Grandma. Appearing today, Grandma Donna. Oh my gosh, is Grandma really gonna be here? I love her show, Trudy the Mortal Slayer. It's the smash hit of the Netherworld Network. Last year it was Dawson Croaks. Go figure. Hauntings and bad nightmares, kids. Yes, it's the one and only. Would you like to say a few words to your fans? Of course, Bones. Hello, people, and thank you for adoring me. Because of you, I have a hit TV show, Three Homes in the Haunted Hills, and no one to tell me what to do. Not even my parents, because I make more money than them. <laughs> I am a star, and I love you all. Wow, that's the life. I bet nobody forces Grandma Donna to go to the Netherworld Mall. Maybe not, but I'll bet her job requires her to do a lot of things she'd rather not do. Oh, come on. A star like her? Hill, look. Broomies is having a one-day sale. Hurry, before the place gets picked over by nasty little gnomes. Wait for us here, Sabrina. Sure, why not? I have no life anyway. Slime on a stick. Sure wish Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda would hurry up so we can go home. I get the weirdest feeling on being watched. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Oh! That was so like great! You got this look like uh, Donna Wendigo and Biker Bad Girls from Beyond the Grave. Oh. Did you get that shot? I got it, Mr. Tarantulino. Your reaction was so like. So reactive, so real. It was. You scared me. Of course I did. Sometimes I scare myself. I'm that fantastic. I am, of course, Clint Tarantellino, director extraordinaire. And my name's Wannabe, camera spook extraordinaire, charmed, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. She definitely meets all network requirements. <gasps> huh? Young, young, and young! Mind telling me what this is about? Sure thing. See, 
I'm directing this hot new show for the Netherworld Network, and I've been scouting for just the right young witch to star in my production. And you're perfect! Me? So, just sign here, here, and here, and we'll be in business. Ooh, Clint, we won't even need a filter. The camera loves her face. Wait a minute. What kind of show is this? A documentary called That Witch, following the day-to-day -day life of a real sorceress. You'll be viewed by millions in the netherworld. They love watching shows about their own kind. You'll be a star. Like Grimma Donna? Grimma who? Honey, you're gonna be big! We'll market you in television, movies, books, music, with 30% of the net profit going to me, but hey! You'll hardly notice it's missing. Sabrina Spellman, celebrity. Oh yeah! Sabrina Spellman, taking orders from no one? Loving, calling her own shots? This. In charge of her own life? So sign already, and I'll follow you back to the mortal world and videotape your every move. Gotta get permission first. Be right back. Can I, can I, can I? It'll be so cool. I don't think it's a good idea, Sabrina. Told you he wouldn't go for it. Better luck next time. It all sounds fishy to me. Besides, what do we know about this Clint Tarantulino fella? He's the final word in terror. He directed Gulp Fiction and revived the career of that zombie TV star, Joe Revolta. You know, from Welcome Back, Slaughter. Never heard of him. Of course not. You're immortal. But everybody else has. Please, please. Meet Sabrina Spellman, fully posable with lifelike winomatic action. You have no idea what's involved with all this. Fame, money, perks. I think I've got a pretty good idea. That's the upside, Sabrina. You're forgetting about the hard work, the long hours. Grimadonna seems to be handling stardom just fine. Oh, and exactly when did you talk to Miss Grimadonna? Well, I didn't exactly, but she sure looked happy. Her job is to look happy. Trust me, Sabrina. You're fooling yourself if you think being a star means you won't have to listen to anyone tell you what to do. You may wind up with even more demands on you than before. <laughs> yeah, but maybe she'll be rich enough to hire someone who can cook decent food. <laughs> Please, Uncle Quigley, I want to do this, and I know I'd be really, really good, and I promise nothing will change around here. Oh, I am such a pushover. Thank you, Uncle Quigley. There. Just what I was waiting for. Congratulations, Sabrina. You're about to become a star! Ah! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Tarantulino. we were starting so early. Rise and shine, honey bunny, you're on. Now, let's see a little mumbo jumbo. Go on, whammy the bed or something. Um, I don't normally use magic to make my bed. The show's called That Witch. Not that boring mortal girl who does everything by hand and gets low ratings. Make with the mumbo jumbo, kid, over history before we even air. Yes! Oh, sweet, merciful Enchantra, that was beautiful! You get that, wannabe? I firm it, Mr. T. TV people are whacked. You think our audience is gonna wanna see a walking witch? Fly, baby, fly! But it'll make for great ratings. Right! Oh, yeah! Yeah, this is so hot, baby! <laughs> Hey, Sabrina, want to come over later and play my new video game, Brain Destroyer? Brain Destroyer? That's my favorite, Harvey. I'd love to go. See you tonight. Uh, okay, I guess. You snooze, you lose, Smellman. You want the audience to think you're a wimpy witch? Turn that snotty little mortal into a frog. What are you waiting for?
I don't usually take care of my problems that way. You want to be a star or not? Maybe one quick zap, just to teach her a lesson. Just for an hour, here's what you'll do. Turn into a creature that resembles you. What are you babbling about, Spellman? Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Wait till those network trolls get a load of this! I smell a hit! Actually, sir, I think that's the zombie you're smelling. Oh, yeah, well, I still thought the rat was funny. Switchboards are going crazy! The ratings are in! That witch is a hit! But they've only shown the theme song. Hey, on network TV, that's more than enough. We're gonna be in full production around here. Congratulations, Sabrina. You're the new it girl of the Netherworld Network. I'm a star! No more taking other people's orders. Now I'll get to call my own shots. Huh? It's 4 a.m. Time to get rolling, babe. <sighs> cut! Cut! Oh, no. These are your teeth you're trying to clean for Enchantress' sake. Let's do it with a little more conviction. Okay, take number 57. <sighs> Lower. Lower. How's the sound? I'm trying to study here. Can you study some other subject now? We've got enough of you in the history book. <sighs> Dear diary. again, a little more to the left this time. Look, I need a break from filming, Quint. Sure thing. Perfect time for a special mall appearance. Oh, no. Hey, Sabrina. Boy, am I glad to see you. Haven't seen you around much lately. Want to catch a flick? That would be so great, Harvey. Let me see if I can get a... <coughs> uh, get rid of the mortal. Five minutes till shoot time. Uh, I'm pretty busy right now, Harvey. Rain check? Sure. See you, Sabrina. I want you to meet your new home tutor. Tutor? But what about school? My friends. You're a star now. No time for school or friends. Allow me to introduce Freddy. A pleasure. Ah! Sabrina, baby, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I wanted to be in control of my life instead of being bossed around by the production crew from Hades. Enough is enough. I quit. Sorry, but you signed a contract. And according to very fine print, a seventh century contract. Let me see that. I've been duped by a gremlin? Okay, if I have to do the show, I'll do it. But I refuse to use magic. Nothing in my contract says I have to. What? We need you to be proactive, edgy, in your face. 
Without magic, there is no show. Ratings will plummet, the network trolls will go crazy. I'll lose my job! Sorry. Tough toenails. Not as sorry as you're gonna be, Missy TV star. Huh? Clint? She doesn't want to use magic. Well, I'm gonna find a way to force our little witch to use her powers. How are you gonna do that? Can't have a great heroine without a great villain. Last I heard, he was locked in a dimensional prison. Ah! Tim the Witch Smeller? Have you gone round a bend? That bloke is dangerous. He could wipe out all of witchdom. Yeah, and? The Witch Smeller is an immortal menace that hunts witches for sport. If the witch's council finds out you released him, what well, they'd rip you to shreds. The witch's council will never find out. With the witch smeller on the show hunting down our little star, we're guaranteed a 30 share. But what about the consequences? Consequences, schmonsequences. This is art. Are you the one they call Tim the witch smeller? I have two words for you. Sabrina. Spellman. The witchling who trapped me in this prison? Free me, and I'll destroy the little brat once and for all. Kid, I'm gonna make you a star! Selton, we're back. Okay, the old man's asleep upstairs, and Sabrina's due back with her aunt any minute. Would you mind stepping back just a smidge? Pure evil. Love it. I'm just glad everything's back to normal around here. <laughs> Tim the witch smeller? Hmm, <laughs> we meet again, ladies. My new witch trap bubble shield. Never leave home without it. <laughs> He's trapped us inside the house. Prepare to be eradicated on the Netherworld network, ladies. Looks like you're gonna have to use your magic, Sabrina, if you want to stop the witch smeller. Clint, you did this. You'll never prove it, sweet thing. Have a taste of my magical scrambler, ladies. One blast will render you powerless forever. <laughs> ah! Hold it! Ah! Cut! Cut! Huh? Ran out of film. Need to reload. Ooh! Please hurry. Your timing is deucedly inconvenient. Let's get out of here, girls. What's with you guys? <laughs> Finally see your reflections? Okay, anyone got ideas? Sorry, I'm not fluent in terrified babble. Salem? Why do I always have to save the day? Salem, you're a genius! Hey! Find your own stuff to hide under. No, check it out. Grandma Matilda's magic teleportation blanket. Wrap it around something and it'll magically transport it anywhere. Like back to the prison dimension? You've read my mind, but that's only half the plan. Ooh, I love it when you get that sneaky look on your face. You remind me of me, actually. All done, boss. Ready to lock and load. It's hunting time, Elton. <laughs> Which witch will it be? Start with the witch behind you. You getting all this, wannabe? Getting it, boss. Don't know what trickery you're up to, little one, but your twitching days are over. Fine, but before I go, just answer this question. Who let you out of your dimensional prison? Who allowed you to once again become a threat to witches throughout the galaxy? Cut! Any of that go out? Nah, we're on five-second delay. We use it for shooting mermaids. They cuss like sailors. So, you thought you were gonna get him to rat me out on camera and get me busted by the witch's council? Guess you were too smart for me, Clint. So, why did you release the witch smeller? Ratings, Sabrina. Big ratings. 
the only thing that truly matters in life, because it's what they want to see. The audience, the fans sitting out there in Netherworld TV land, hungering to see something spectacular, something real, something alive. And if I have to free a dangerous menace and sacrifice a few witches to do that, well, isn't it worth it? Goodness, and I thought I was nasty. Did you get all that, Salem? I affirmative. Smile, suckers. We jacked into your line. Your confession just went out live to the entire netherworld. Whoa. What? She turned the tables on you, bub. And I didn't even use magic to do it. I'm finished. I'll be booted out of Hollyweird, roasted by nine gazillion witches. Let's get out of here before they find us. You might have tricked them, but you still have me to contend with, Witchling. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, time to drop the curtain on this production. No! Blanket wraps around the witch smeller, take him back to his prison cellar. I'll get you for this, Sabrina! Ready to go, aunties. Can't wait to get there. Any other places you want to take me? No fight, no fuss, no, I have no life. What are you talking about? I have the greatest life. Even with all of our terrible demands on you? Yeah, well, guess I kind of exaggerated things a bit. And hey, even stars have to listen to other people and handle responsibilities just like everyone else. Well, seems your brief brush with stardom did you wonders. Yeah, I'm just glad things are back to normal. And that the people telling me what to do are the people who love me. I'm sorry, Murray. I need a catnip tree in my trailer. I don't do the picture. Yeah, that's hardball, but this is hardball business. Nope, gotta call you back. I still got Scorsese's people hanging on the other line. <gasps> love ya. Sure. What? Dum de dum dum dum. French really know their cheese. Say, love, when is this spell going to end? Right about now. Great. My room has been trashed by the three musketeers. Good one, Salem. Hey, you're the one who said you wanted your book report to really come alive. Not my fault you didn't take time to think it through and realize the spell might have a downside. And if I don't clean up this room, my downside is going to be in big trouble. Thanks very much. Thanks yourself. You know, you have a history of jumping into things before you have all the facts you need. Well, how about that time you put that dinosaur model together and jumped ahead without reading all the directions on the glue packet and then had a plastic T-Rex stuck to your hand for a week? And then there was that other time when you did bother to read the whole recipe and ended up baking an exploding cake. I wish I could stay to hear yet another embarrassing story about myself, but I've got company. Oh, come back anytime. I've got a million of them. Ooh. Hey, Sabrina, want to come out and do some boarding? Sure, Harvey, but aren't you going to be a little overdressed? Oh, uh, I've got to be an usher at my cousin Harold's wedding in a little while, but we've still got time to cut some pavement. Cool, I'll get my stuff. Uh, y your toaster's ringing. Oops, just remembered, bum leg. Can't board, thanks anyway, bye. Phew. Hot, ow, ow, ow! Who set the toaster on 
extra dark again. Two emergency messages from the netherworld. I wonder what's so urgent. It's from Grandma and Grandpa. We'll be visiting you later today. We have an announcement that may come as a terrific shock. As you know... We have been separated for almost a month now, and we have made a very important decision that we want our family to be the first to know about. <laughs> Yours immortally, Warwick and Marit. Oh, no! They're getting a divorce! I just know it! Sabrina, don't jump to conclusions. It may not be that at all. After all, they haven't seen that marriage counselor. But if they get a divorce, what'll happen to all the cool family stuff? Like summers at Grandma and Grandpa's house at the lake. I learned to swim there. And to water ski. And dive. <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa's house is my favorite place in the whole world. It's absolutely magical. I don't want anything to change. I won't let it. Huh? <gasps> Not the toaster. Not the microwave. I don't get it. What could it be? Quigley. Uh, Jane. Special delivery for you, Sabrina. For me? Yes! It's the video I ordered, Gargantic, the special edition. I myself felt that the film was overlong, with only passable dialogue and performances, but still worth seeing for the crisp editing and outstanding state-of-the-art visual effects. Look! The answer to all our problems! It's gargantic! It's about this guy named Mac and this girl named Tulip, and how their love survived against all odds. Huh? Don't you get it? All we need to do to keep Grandma and Grandpa from getting a divorce is to remind them how much they really love each other. What's this about your grandmother and grandfather? They're coming here to make a big announcement. Sabrina's convinced us that they're getting a divorce. Are you sure you're not jumping to conclusions again, Sabrina? I know that's what it is. I can just feel it, Uncle Quigley. What if Mom and Dad are divorcing? Oh, oh get a grip. We don't know for sure that that's what they're going to announce. That's it. That's the key. We don't give them a chance to make the announcement. Yeah! We start working on them from the minute they walk in the door. We? Right, the whole family, including Salem. Excluding Salem. I have no intention of letting two of my oldest friends see me in this humiliating condition. Ah! Okay, who set the toaster on extra dark again? Usually I'm not comfortable meddling in other people's lives, but we are talking about possibly saving a marriage here, so... So? So I'm willing to go along with trying to get them back together on one condition. No magic. I'm still recovering from the last magic-induced disaster. All I asked for was a hot dog with relish, and I ended up with a 40-foot Frank that was being chased around the house by a dancing leprechaun. <laughs> you had to upgrade us to Witch Cook 95. How'd I know there'd be glitches? Well, okay, no magic then. We'll be matchmakers the good old-fashioned mortal way. And it'll still work. I know it will. Oh, Marut, our love can only grow stronger now that Sabrina has brought us together again. How can we ever thank her? How about doubling my allowance? Sorry to burst your bubble, but your plan isn't going to work. You don't even know my plan. I don't even know it. So how do you know my plan won't work? You get your knuckles out of my rib cage, maybe I'll tell you. Do you know how much licking it takes to get a coat this smooth? So borrow my hair gel. Now, cut the complaining and just tell me why I can't keep my grandparents from getting a divorce. First, let me point out that you don't know for a fact that they're planning to get a divorce. The only evidence we have is your opinion. And second, they are two of the most stubborn creatures in the netherworld. Once a spellman decides to do something, nothing will change their minds. Oh yeah? Well, I'm a spellman too. And nothing is going to change my mind about doing what it takes to keep my grandparents together. This is going to be a bigger disaster than the sinking of the Gargantic. Harvey, you've got to help me figure out how to keep my grandparents together. <clears throat> Gee, Sabrina, I have a hard time just keeping my socks together. <clears throat> Come to think of it, when you put two socks in the dryer and only one comes out, where does the other one go? Harvey, focus. 
Your cousin, the one who's getting married, did he ever mention any standout stuff they did that paved the way to love? They played a lot of miniature golf. Maybe something else? Um, they went to a lot of really hot concerts. Please, Harvey, can you think of anything else? They did go out to dinner a lot. That's it. That's something that might actually work. Thanks, Harvey, you're amazing. Yeah, right. I know how we start, with a romantic dinner. But I don't know how to cook without magic. Believe me, you don't know how to cook with magic. <gasps> well, one of us can cook. And I had to go and say no magic, didn't I? Please do it, Uncle Quigley. A big romantic feast is just the thing we need to get Grandma and Grandpa back together. Well, uh... Great! Now here's what you'll need to pick up at the store. Fork-tailed spoonfish. It's Grandpa's favorite. And duck eggs. And baby broccoli and caviar and... The door! We don't have time for interruptions right now. Hurry, Uncle Quigley, we've got a marriage to save. And get baked Alaska. And Maine lobster and Georgia peaches. Ahem. And catnip. Imported. Sabrina, how's my favorite granddaughter? Grandpa Warwick, you're so early. <laughs> Nonsense! I'm exactly on schedule as always. Now, where are Hilda and Zelda keeping themselves? Your grandmother will be here any minute, and we have something very important to tell you. Um, uh, before you get around to making any announcements, um, first let me show you my room. It's so cool you're here. We're all totally excited. Even Salem. <laughs> Salem? Why, I haven't seen that old warlock since I roomed with him in school back at old St. Skip's. Where is he? We all expected great things of him, you know. Um, he's out getting his fur, uh, hair done. Anyway, just wait till you see my room. Uh-oh. On second thought, let me show you Hilda's room instead. <laughs> no nonsense, I... <laughs> ah! Oh! My word, Sabrina, as my granddaughter, the granddaughter of an award-winning warlock accountant, I would have expected you to have a more highly developed sense of neatness and order. Uh, it's actually the, uh, latest new style in interior decorating. Um, it's in all the teen magazines. Yes, well, I think it's time you were instructed in the proper use of a tidiness spell, young lady. Still a neat freak. <laughs> of course, you know I'm here for a more important reason than just helping you clean your room, Sabrina. I must find Hilda and Zelda. I have a very important announcement to make. No! Let's wait for Grandma. And boy, what a wonderful Grandma she is. The nicest, kindest, most beautiful woman in the netherworld. Oh! Uh, she really is one in a million. You know, when I first met her, she... Hold that thought, Grandpa. I got Grandpa to admit that Grandma's one in a million. That's step number one. How are we coming up on step number two? The killer romantic dinner. Quigley's not back yet! Which gives us some time to think about what's going on here. I mean, what if Mom and Dad aren't really here to announce their divorce and... I'm too busy doing stuff right now to think, okay? Gotta go. Here. Grandma! Oh, Sabrina! Where are Hilda and Zelda? I really, really think it's best we get the announcement made as soon as possible. How about a walk first? Through the park? Flowers in bloom, birds in song. Just you and Grandpa. He says he thinks you're one in a million. Hmm, perhaps another time. Right now, we need to make the announcement. No! Oh. Not yet! I, I mean, not until we've talked about your trip. So, how was it? Oh, my darling, thank you for reminding me. On my way over, I ran into a delightful group of fairies who, when they heard I was visiting my beloved daughters and granddaughter, insisted on sending along gifts for all of you. 
I brought unicorns for everyone. Oh, Marut! Not only do you have to be late as always, but you also have to ruin my efforts at tidying this place up by bringing unicorns. Everyone knows there's no way to housebreak a unicorn. Oh, for goodness sakes, you old coot. Don't be such a potty pooper. I'll keep them in my closet, Grandpa, till we can hire a unicorn whisperer. Please, just don't fight. And what gifts did you bring? A desk organizer and a broom, no doubt. Always right there with a put-down, aren't you, Marut? We better get dinner on the table. Uh, what's going on? You are irresponsible and you consort with fans. Oh. And you're a funny daddy who folds his dirty clothes before he puts them in the hamper. <laughs> Maybe a divorce wouldn't be such a bad thing. Bite your tongue! Hey, I've known several couples over the centuries who divorced and went on to be happily married to other people. They did? Oh, who, who needs children, children or grandchildren when I, I have my, my perfect, perfect soulmate? No! It would be too awful! I know we promised Uncle Quigley no magic, but... Ah, that ever pesky little butt. What could it mean? It means forget the little romantic dinner. We're going for the big time magic. If there was ever a time for the spooky jar, this is it. We've got to get Grandma and Grandpa back in love before they have the chance to announce their divorce. I'm in! Spooky jar to the rescue! Using spooky jar magic on Mom and Dad? I don't know. Sabrina! Hilda! Zelda! Where are you? Marut and I are ready to make our announcement. Oh, stop all that yelling, Warwick. They're probably in the kitchen. I will cough up a hairball the size of Cleveland right under your bed if those two stay around long enough to find out my secret. The spooky jar's in the den. We'll sneak in the front door and be right back with the spell. See, I told you, in the kitchen, you never listen. We'd like to make our announcement now, dear. Where are Hilda and Zelda? They're, uh, out, um, doing their hair. They'll be right back later. You told me Salem was having his done, too. Is everyone in this house obsessed with their hair? Salem? Hair? Oh, why, I haven't seen that big, handsome hunk of a warlock in centuries. Where is he? <laughs> uh, our pots and pans always get excited around dinner time. You guys go into the den. No, the living room. I'll get Hilda and Zelda. Got a spell hot out of the jar. One that will recreate Mom and Dad's honeymoon. Perfect! Waft this dust around the room and old love is rekindled. Va, 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 voo! I love you. Oh, yeah. I really love you. I really, really love you. Thank you. And thank you. Reservations during hailing season are so much cheaper. We could have gotten here sooner if you hadn't stopped to go shopping at that harmonic convergence outlet. And what about you? Oh, you, who are you oh, to tell me oh, that I, I should I go shopping when you. I do? Harmonic What's happening? This is supposed to be super romantic and they're fighting worse than ever? How are we supposed to know their honeymoon was a disaster? Hey, Sabrina. Oh my gosh, we left the door open. Ah! I got a break from the wedding rehearsal. Want to do some board? Whoa, Sabrina, what's that? Uh, Uncle Quig's new big screen DVD, high res ultra, what do you call it, TV? Bye, catch you later. Hilda, Zelda, there 
you are. Well, now that we're all finally here, I think it's time that we made our announcement. No, not yet. Gotta have snacks first. Be back in a flash. We need a love potion, and we need one now. There is that old standby. Number nine? Perfect. Hit it. Belfry flavored bat wing. Eye of Newt. Web of Charlotte. Three of Hearts. There. Done. Anyone who drinks this will instantly fall in love with the first person they see. Of course, it won't last more than an hour, but maybe that will be long enough for Mom and Dad to forget about their announcement. A backup supply, just in case. <sighs> <sighs> Grandma and Grandpa just relived their honeymoon and now they're gonna want to divorce more than ever. Dinner's off. Had to come up with a more intense plan. Sorry. Da -da 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 -da. Teenagers. Huh. Sabrina, look out! I warned you about those unicorns. Wait! The backup glass! Huh? Ah! Come back! I love you! Uncle Quigley! No! Sabrina, honey, is everything all right? No, it's all wrong. Uncle Quigley's gone postal. My grandparents are getting a divorce, and no matter how much I want to, there's nothing I can do to fix any of it. What are you talking about, Sabrina? We're not getting a divorce. But your important announcement. It's that Marut and I have decided to renew our wedding vows. In fact, the minister should be here any minute. Really? Oh, yes, and you girls are going to be my attendants. When I heard Salem might be around, I thought perhaps he could be my best man. But it looks like I'll have to ask my cousin Lenny the zombie to do the honors. Wait a minute. I went through all this craziness for nothing? I can't believe it. Oh, go ahead and believe it, doll baby. You did what you always do. You jumped in without checking the facts. Oh, yeah. That old look before you leap thing. Guess that is pretty key, huh? And the next time you bang open the door of a cabinet, you might want to check on who might be trying to hide in it first. Salem! What in blazes happened to you, old man? Before I answer any questions, why don't you explain how you could even consider replacing me with a loser like Lenny the Zombie? Now make way for the best man! It really was a great wedding. And didn't Mom and Dad look cute leaving for their second honeymoon on that broomstick built for two? Hey, Sabrina, the wedding rehearsal is finished. Still want to do some boarding? Sure. <laughs> you need to check that out? Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Good one, Spellman. You just did it again. You jumped to another conclusion. Don't. Catch you later, Harvey. I've got to make sure everything's cool with the unicorns. The what? I promise I'll explain later.